Welcome friends. In this section, we will have some discussion about the blocking scheme. A blocking commands are initiated by a protection element that detects fault external to the protected zone. Detection of an external fault at the local end of protected circuit result in a blocking signal being transmitted to the remote end. At the remote end, recept of blocking signal prevents the remote end protection operating if it had detected the external fault. Loss of communication channel is less serious for this scheme than in other as loss of channel does not result in a failure of trip when required. However, the risk of spurious tripping is higher. So in this scheme, so let us have discuss an example here. For example, this is station A and this is station B. If there is a fault in uh, in the reverse direction here, so we could have programmed that if the fault is not in forward direction but it is in the reverse direction, it means the fault is out of zone fault. So relay in that case will send immediately blocking signal to the remote end A that the fault is sensed by the relay at station B is not the forward fault or the fault in the transmission line between A and B but it's a fault in the reverse direction by the reverse zone. So it will send a blocking signal to A. So as soon as the relay received the blocking signal it will not trip the breaker. So in this case only at station B the line protection installed here will trip this breaker only and this 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 breaker and this breaker will not trip in that case. So tripping will be selective. So for example if the, uh, the relay sense again we take the another example in which relay sensing is correct but communication media is failed. So what will happen for example again we will just uh, assume that there is a fault in the reverse direction. This relay is sensing that the fault is in reverse direction and want to send the communication block signal at the remote end. But the communication media is not healthy. It will not send the block signal. In that case, because the relay at station A has not received the blocking signal, it will trip the breaker immediately and in that case you will see that this breaker at station B will open and also the breaker at station A will open which is not required it will be kind of mall tripping so but the advantage of the blocking scheme is even the communication is failed if there is a fault in forward direction between A and B the breaker will trip so advantage of blocking scheme is is that when we want when it is more important to trip the breaker uh, even if the communication scheme, scheme is failed then uh, then to continue the supply even in case of uh, uh, indiscriminate tripping then unblocking scheme is used so it, it has advantage and disadvantages so this un, uh, this blocking scheme uh, is uh, more in favor of tripping if the communication is available or not available in both cases it will trip the breaker at, at station A so the if you want to set the priority to tripping even in case of communication failure we can choose blocking scheme so of our priority is first priority is uh, not uh, to trip if communication scheme failed, if the priority of the system is, is designed in such a way that we don't want to trip, then in that case, permissive scheme will be chosen. So this was a little bit uh, explanation of the blocking scheme. So this blocking scheme, some time of, you will see that uh, you will, some, some kind of production you will see in weekend feed. So, uh, these are some basic concepts that we have learned. 
so another concept could be unblocking scheme that we will little bit study um, in in the next section thank you very much